So I saw a video earlier this morning on TikTok where, and there's a funny video by the way, but um, it was where this gay guy um, was talking about, um, oh he has a, this article in the very beginning of, the, of this video, but he's talking about how there's people who are actually identifying themselves as trans-abled people. And these are people basically who believe that they are um, disabled, physically disabled, when they clearly are not. And in the video, he's making a joke. That he's, he says he remembers being a youthful gay who, uh, when he had uh, all these conservative people saying, hold up here. If you open the gates up for gay marriage, you're going to let all these other weirdos in. This is what he said. And he starts laughing and he says, uh, you know, he starts talking to his community. He's like, um, I, I don't know. Did we do the right thing? Like, did, you know, was, was marriage really that important to us? You know, because fuck, right? Because now you do, in fact, have all these people who are coming in thinking that just because, you know, gay marriage got legalized, that somehow they also should be getting exactly what they want. Like, everybody, no matter how crazy something might be, like, everyone's believing, like, these people are basically believing that they, you know, they can just have whatever they want. Now, the truth is, most of us, now, it doesn't even matter what you think about gay marriage, okay? But most of us, including this guy, um, who's part of the gay community, understands that this is ridiculous. People identifying themselves as actually being physically disabled and going as far also as disabling themselves just to fit that identity is ridiculous. Most of us know this. And the only people that would be offended by us saying that that's ridiculous are these people who are wanting to follow this idea that we clearly know is a lie. It is not true. Okay? Now, do you know how many um, cults that were started in the past where they had this really ridiculous belief system like I think of Jonestown and I think of uh, Heaven's Gate. Maybe I mentioned them before. But where they believed that if they kill themselves with some liquid poison that they would be beamed up into some UFO spaceship and they, you know, they would be living amongst aliens, basically. Well, collectively speaking, we all know that's ridiculous and not true. We, we all know this. But they didn't. So the only people that were going to be offended by us telling the truth would be those people who would believe in this. Not us, because we, we know that's not true. So I want to know, though, how many people, when you ask this yourself, how many people do you know, including yourself, uh, say that they want an honest person? That they don't like being lied to by people. How many people do you know probably say that? Yet, in order for someone to be honest with you, sometimes... They have to point out the inconsistencies, the things that don't add up, the things that, that are clearly wrong. But who is going to be the only people that are going to be offended by the person pointing out those inconsistencies? Just listen to what I already just said. <laughs> so why then do we treat people who are clearly telling us the truth why do we treat those people like they're an enemy like there's they're, like there's something wrong with them right when that's again we, that's what we claim we say we want someone honest or do you really want somebody honest I don't know you know, there's a whole lot I could say about this, and I was, but I think I'm just going to end it there because that's really all that needs to be said. You know, so if you listen to this, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later.